I guess it's time to finally talk about The Fault in Our Stars with John Green. I got a black J Scribble. What color J Scribble did you get? I realize how incredibly late to the party I am with this, but I, I still really want to talk about it. So I'm going to like keep it brief and mostly talk about like personal reactions rather than summarizing and analysis. If somehow you have managed to totally miss all the Fault in Our Stars hoopla, uh, this is a book about Hazel, who is a 16-year-old girl with cancer, uh, and not the kind that you recover from. And Hazel meets a boy named Augustus at a Cancer Kids support group, and this novel is basically the story of their relationship. And I swear that this novel is way better than that makes it sound. So this book was amazing. I don't think I'm breaking any new ground by telling you that, but but it was. But to give you a better sense of how amazing it is, I I will tell you two things about myself. Number one, and this is the most important, I hate cancer books. By the time this book was announced, I still had not read all of John Green's stuff, but I had read enough of it to be like on board the John Green train. Like I was at the point where whatever John Green wants to write, I, I am with you. I will read whatever you put out, John Green. We're, we're good. We're cool. And so then this was announced and I was just like, God damn it, John Green. I can't believe you're gonna make me read a cancer book because I really hate cancer books. Oh, it's just like, all stories are emotionally manipulative to a certain degree because that's just kind of how stories work. Like a writer takes a thing that was previously in his brain and puts it outside of his brain and then you have an emotional reaction. Like that's just what, what stories are. But cancer stories are always just so blatant in their emotional manipulation. It's like the author is standing on a chair in the middle of the room, holding a megaphone, yelling at you, feel sad. And I'm like, how did you even get in my house, Nicholas Sparks? But I read this anyway because I trust John Green and I was not led astray. This was a cancer book that actually felt honest. So many cancer narratives are just like, look at this wise teenager, I guess cancer makes you sage. But these characters actually felt like real people and it was great. And number two, I don't cry at books. And I know that sometimes I'm prone to dramatic hyperbole, but I have, I have genuinely never cried at a single book. I mean, I'm generally not a big crier, but I cry at other things. Like the very last episode of Battlestar Galactica, I'm sitting there sobbing over Gaius fucking Baltar of all people, but for some reason, books just do not hit that spot in my brain that makes me cry. But The Fault in Our Stars made me cry. Congratulations, John Green. You reached the cold, dead spot where my heart is supposed to be. So yeah, I think that's really all I want to say about this because, you know, everybody else has done their videos already and I just don't really feel like I have anything else to add to the conversation except for, you know, what I just said. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.